Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Cully, and I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus. And we're going to get into the reading for today. I just want to give you guys a reminder that you should join Taurus Inspiration. That is our paid membership here on YouTube. Over there, we do, it's a monthly membership, and over there we do different types of readings, runes, astro dice, pendulum readings, different um, readings for from different guides, uh, whether they be ancestors, spirit guides, um, angels. But we definitely have a wonderful group of people over there, and I would tell you that it's very special, and I feel like you should be a part of that. So at the end of this reading, there will be a little Taurus symbol up here. You can click on that. It takes you right to the membership, um, or there's a link in the description box below. So let's see what we got going on for Taurus. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. All right. So we have here hunger. I love it. Here we go, my loves. Here we go. We're cleaning out old energy. We're getting rid of uh, things that do not serve us. I know you've been going through it. And it it's kind of big this go around with this last full moon in Aries that we just had. But we have the 29 here, which is an 11. 11 is very spiritual. It's mastering the spiritual realms, if you will. And right now, with this hunger card, it's like you're hungry for something new. And that is happening. Uh, I know it's happening for me personally. So big changes, especially in the last week that I've made. Now, with the changes here and the hunger to have it better, right, to have the better life, the better experiences, the better money, the better love, the better self-worth, to have all that, we've got to make changes and we've got to take action, okay? Action is at the bottom of the deck. Given that it's the 15, which is a 6 in numerology, it's saying you're heading on a better path. So just to put it simply, not that it's simple because it's not, but just one example, it's like going from uh, one type of diet where it's a lot of junk food, sugar, this and that, and stripping that down and having a totally different type of diet, which is much better for you, right? So, again, that could be in any area of your life. That could be in love. That could be in work. That can be with your own belief systems. But you're stripping down the old and you're getting hungry for something new and I like to see this because we've talked about it a lot, but unless we change our routines or we change our day-to-day -day actions or we make different decisions, we're going to stay in that same comfort zone, right? You have a hunger for something different. Um, and boy, have I, and remember, I'm Taurus too, and boy, have I been lately. So now it's time to start taking action towards the new, right? The new life, the new version of you. I love it. It's like we've been sitting and waiting and waiting for almost like the okay or to get so uncomfortable in our comfort zones to go ahead and make the changes necessary. So let's see what we have in the tarot. Show me clearly what is going on. Angels, guides, ancestors, what's going on for Taurus, please? Show me clearly what is going on for Taurus. Show me clearly. What is going on for Taurus, please? Oof. Show me clearly what is going on for Taurus. Thank you. All right, so our first card out is the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're done being where you're at. Okay, the Five of Pentacles is not necessarily a bad card. It's kind of like being forced into hermit mode where you kind of feel isolated, alone, um, I've felt that way my whole life, and I come from a big family, and it's not my family. It's just I've always felt different, seeing things differently, viewing things differently, which made me feel a little isolated. However, however, what it does for you, Taurus, is it puts you, it's kind of, it's kind of like forced you into hermit mode in order to assess, in order to break free. This was a comfort zone. 
being like the black sheep is a comfort zone. And it's nothing wrong with being the black sheep. I certainly am of my family. But it is um, willing to go out and do things your way, the way that you want to, breaking the molds. And I really feel like you're like, okay, I don't need to be in Five Pentacles energy anymore. I got it. I get it. I'm going to take action towards something different. And I like it. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Show me clearly for Taurus, please. Angels, guides, ancestors. Whoa, that is so many. We are not taking all of those. <laughs> ah, but I like the explosion, right? It's like now it's like you're going to find yourself with a newfound energy. Um, some of you, it's going to be very explosive. Some of you, it's just, it's still explosive, but it's one thing at a time. Like, I'm taking care of this. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to take care of this. Wrapping up, you know, any loose ends, getting rid of anything that isn't, um, that truly isn't serving you any, any good. Uh, it all doesn't have to be done in one day, but yeah, you're making strides forward. And I love that. Look at that. We've got, um, the hangman, right? A new perspective on this, realizing that the five of pentacles was not necessarily bad for you. You needed to be there. And then with the five of cups being willing now to walk away from the old way of being, because you have a new way of being, whether that is in relationships, whether that's relationship to self, whether that is a job, whether, you know, whatever this is, it's like, wait, I'm really kind of seeing things clearly here and I'm willing to take some action. I like the fives because the fives are about change, right? And this is like very interesting to me. You're breaking up the old relationship. That could be with a person, could be a friend, could be a lover, could be a work situation you're leaving, could be your old belief systems, um, your feelings towards things. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but in this particular Five of Cups, it's not the three cups that have spilled. It's the two cups. Ending an old way of being with yourself in order to flourish, in order to expand, and in order to celebrate right? Because the Three of Cups is a celebration. So, yeah, I feel like you're hungry for something different. And you have been for a while, but now you're ready to take action with it. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. And it's kind of funny because they showed me this, and it is a totally different perspective. I don't know if you guys have seen this, uh, on social media, but I've seen it the last couple of days and it, it's truly eye-opening. They filmed bats, right, that normally are hanging upside down. They just flip the camera so it looks like they're standing. It looks like they're dancing, like they're having the best time. It is that total flip of perspective here. Show me clearly. Thank you. Six of Pentacles. I'm going to put new effort, right, into something new that I know I will get back, and I will get back tenfold. You're focusing your attention on different things. You're moving forward in a big way. Um, exchanging an old habit for a better habit, okay? So as you guys may know, and I'm not, I'm not a health nut, guys. I'm not, and not even close. But... Most of you know I quit drinking caffeine, caffeinated coffee. I drink decaf now. And part of that is, uh, you know, exchanging one habit, you know, for a better habit. Part of that was because the energy of the caffeine, and that's all the caffeine I ever drank was through coffee, but it was too intense. It wasn't good for me anymore. It was giving me jitters and shakes, and I did not like it. So I exchanged that. So I feel like there's an exchange plan. This thing once that I once loved just doesn't do it for me anymore. Okay? Because remember the Five of Cups in the Standard Tarot, um, he's lost his taste for the wine in the cup. So he's moving on from that. Okay? And then we've got the Chariot. I love this. 
So then things pick up real quickly for you. Ch big changes are coming. I kept telling you guys big changes were coming for you. It started off as small changes throughout the year where if you look back to January and think about where you are now and think about the changes, they might have been small. The big changes are now really coming, right? Take action. The chariot's very fast moving. It's a very successful card. So whatever you put your focus on, you will be successful. Um, and I have no, no desire anymore for caffeinated coffee. As a matter of fact, if I think about it, I start shaking, right? So again, making these changes that you would be surprised that you would make. Giving up things you'd surprise you, you're giving up. Because if you would have asked me a year ago if I would switch to decaf coffee, I would have laughed at you, right? I would, I would have. I would have been like, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to give up coffee, caffeinated coffee. So I feel like you're ready to take some big action. And the thing was, which was funny, is it wasn't... Uh, these are big changes, Taurus. And the reason I say that is because... Um, I just went one day from caffeinated to decaf. I didn't try to wean off of it or anything. I just did it, right? That's just kind of typical Taurus, right? I just did it. I was done with it. Now, you guys have seen that when I forget, when I go and get a latte every once in a while, that I forget to sell them decaf and I am shaking like a leaf. So again, they're showing me that because there will be a pullback to the old, but you're not going to like it, right? You're going to, like, like if I went and had a caffeinated coffee, I would not like it anymore. So you're truly leaving something behind for something way more successful and better for you. That could be, like I said, a job, a lover, I mean, uh, a living place, I mean, anything. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? What is the message for Taurus? Show us clearly, please. Thank you. There we go. All right. Yep, there it is, the tower. I told you. So the tower is very shocking, very quick change. Um, again, I think it's funny that I was just saying that I just went from caffeinated to decaf in a day, right? This is the kind of decisions you're making. These are the kind of tower moments, like when you think, oh, I love my job so much, I would never leave my job, but then this other great opportunity comes in, and you're like, oh, well, I guess I'm going to do that, right? It's like these big moments, and a lot of you are going to be like, oh, no, not, you know, I would never leave this town, I love this town, and then there's a big move, so there's a big, big changes coming for you, and look at that, I was talking about the Three of Cups here, there will be celebration, but time is going to start moving faster for us, okay? Because we're going to start taking action because the hunger is there. We're done being in Five of Pentacles, right? We don't want to be there anymore. It was a comfort zone. I'm done with that. So, I love this. I love that we're going to be celebrating. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus? Show me clearly, please. Yeah, and it's not, it, it feels like a newfound hunger. Like, I just can't live this way anymore. A newfound hunger, I'm, I'm just breaking through this. It, it's amazing. It feels good. My words and my actions are of beauty, compassion, and love. Yes, remember, I talk about that with you guys all the time. Taurus rules the throat chakra, so what we say happens, period. I'm going to leave it at that. So if you're having problems being positive or you feel like you can't speak up, book a 30-minute Reiki session with me for the throat chakra. Just next to your name, put throat chakra. So important. All the chakras are important, but we rule the throat chakra. So your words and actions, right? Oh, I love that they have the actions. To create a more beautiful life for yourself. And it says, I am connected to the earth and all life around me as a reminder that we are an earth sign to be connected. I just went to the park, what, a day or two ago, two days ago, and I literally sat there grounding myself for probably a good three hours. Which I know sounds excessive, but I love it, right? Me, the dog, laying on the grass with our sandwiches and our treats, but really just spent about three hours 
moving, you know, a little bit in the sun, a little bit in the shade. And I really needed it where it wasn't just, oh, I'm going there for 10 minutes. So again, connecting yourself and grounding yourself. Look at the bottom. Love that. I have power. It is real. My words and actions. You do have power. It is real. So with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment. I read each and every one. Subscribe if you haven't. Definitely come over and join us at Taurus Inspiration. We would love to have you. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.